do you give the day to, to the defense? I mean, some of these days with their experts, it's been prosecution. Was it a better day today for bias in the defense? Well, I don't know if I would go so far as to say I would give it to the defense as a win for the today, but certainly being that Mr. Mason was up doing some of the directs and it was a shorter day and the jury um, wasn't didn't have to be there as long and was and, and was listening and knowing that they were leaving at about noon, um, I think it was a, a better day than better what day. they'd normally done. Yeah. So with that said, have the previous couple of days uh, where Jeff Ashton's just taken apart some of the defense experts been disastrous days for the defense? Would you go that far? Uh, I, I wouldn't go as far as <laughs> saying it's disastrous. I mean, I think <laughs> maybe everything up to this point, there have been some disastrous moments, um, but I guess time will tell for that. But Jeff Ashton, I mean, he's a seasoned prosecutor. He has done this a long time, and you can tell just the, the swiftness, and he's very succinct. He knows exactly what he's talking about, and he's very knowledgeable. He's not trying to be smarter than the experts. He's just trying to put in what he wants them to say because he knows what they're going to say. He's taken their deposition, but he's not trying to be smarter than them, which is a good tip. Isn't that something? And he keys in on one word, one phrase, and man, he, you know he's taking that note and he's coming right back uh, at that witness. I want to play a little something for you here. And th This happened yesterday since we're on the topic of Jeff Ashton as prosecutor and cross-examiner. He's talking to Dr. Jane Bach. Now, she looked at leaf patterns and she said that maybe little Kaylee's remains were placed at the crime scene only two weeks before they were discovered. Uh, Jeff Ashton basically got her to say, well, that's possible. It's also possible they were there a lot longer, basically nullifying her point. Then he ended with this uh, about a dog bearing a hip bone. We'll get your take on that, Maria. Let's listen. A hip bone was buried in four inches of what is referred to as muck, which I assume is wet, I assume you would call wet humus. Um, wouldn't that indicate pretty conclusively that this skull had been there a whole lot longer than two weeks? Or a dog or buried a, it? Sorry, a dog buried A dog buried They it. do, as do coyotes. I don't know if you have those here. No, we're not blessed with coyotes. But we have a lot of other things. Thank you very much, Doctor. And there you see the smirk on Jeff Ashton's face as he got that. Uh, what, what about that exchange? Does Ashton... Uh, go too far? Is he perceived as a bully or did he just make the point and then walk off? Was that effective for him? I think it was very effective. He showed genuine surprise, shock, and a reaction, but then he tried to fix it thinking, okay, that's not appropriate, it's not professional, but it shows that he's a human being and, you know, Jane Bach, she could be anybody's grandma. So right. I think he was walking gingerly with, and she's so sweet, you know, and, and, but, but she even said earlier, my best guess. But then when she came out with the whole dog theory and Jeff Ashton, you know, had that natural response, but then said, you know what? Th that's all I need. I'm going to sit down on the whole dog theory. And it was <laughs> brilliant. Was she a bad witness <laughs> for the defense at the end of the day, Maria? Oh, I don't want to call her oh, a bad, bad. She's again. somebody's She's grandma. You're like right. my grandma. <laughs> right. Right. Good point. But, I mean, I don't think she, I don't think she was a bad witness. I think that she got up there and she has a, she got her PhD in like I think 65 or 55 or something. Yeah. And she's she's very she's a very intelligent lady, but she just didn't have all the facts. No. And I think that really showed. And Jeff Ashton was able to just, you know, lead her into what he wanted her to say yeah and that's a great but we don't want to be mean or anything but what's the no. jury taking away from this that's the big key and what they're taking away is she was unclear somewhat unsure ashton took advantage and i think it was ended up being a plus for the prosecution at the end of the day maria good talking to you we'll talk again here in a little bit I want to let everybody know you're not going to miss a moment of the casey anthony murder trial 